Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! It's a rare skill for a fighter to be able to stand in the pocket and avoid taking significant damage. But if you watch the film on this young fighter, that's exactly what he's able to do. He frustrates and exhausts his opponents, and he stays pretty relaxed because he's so defensively sound. He uses movement and defense to set up his offense. Consummate stickler and mover. He gets his head off of the center line, and even when you think you have him in a compromising position, more often than not, he's able to swivel that head and get out of harm's way. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedown right away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Grandmaster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Bruce the Dragon Lee! Herb Dean, our referee Ready. for this one. Ready. Good. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angle is just absurd, and a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Big inside kick. Push kick there to the bottom. And do a work with the jab. attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. There's that body shot. Looks like he's dealing with a cut above the eye here. So more output, at least in the early going. Just missed with the leg kick. Beautiful. Able to land there with the straight left. Straight punch there. Fuck the lies, get up out of my shore, 
Missed with that right hand. Oh, and the high kick lands. Three minutes to go. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. And he lands a knee. Front kick to the body by Lee. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. It's a nice jab by him there. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume time. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Push kick there to the body. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Under two minutes to go in the round. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Pretty good stuff getting that kick home. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Lee. This dude can kick. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, beautiful job getting the foot to the head there. Oh, that one landed, yep. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. There's the kick, it's blocked. Right on the button. Well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's a traditional, it's a traditional leg kick. Just throw in your hip. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Another five minutes coming up. All right, that's the end of the round. So the complexion of this one may have changed a little bit. You see the cut above his eyes sustained in that round. One of the best cut men in the business. He'll get in there and try to close it up before it becomes a bigger issue than it already is. All right, back to the stools between rounds. That gives us time to look back at some of the replays, including some of those strikes that caused the damage, particularly to his forehead. Damage to the forehead. Expect a lot of blood, but when you look at him, he looks like he still wants to be in there. It does not seem like the blood is Where affecting him. Now, you Ready. can want to be there as much as you, can, you want to, but you got to do things better defensively, or ultimately he's going to get you out of there. He's got to move his head, he's got to stay out the center line, and he's got to press forward put his opponent on his heels. All right, put well. All of a sudden, we got a new storyline in this one, the cut on his forehead. We will keep an eye on it as this next round gets underway. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Lead kick is true there by Lee. Relax, relax. Keep your head. Back and forth we go. Just misses with the straight right. Lead left by Lee. Beautiful body kick. Oh, big elbow. Oh, oh, he might get finished here. Pretty good execution. 
solution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the U.S. Oh, well, and that kick is blocked. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bar. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Kobe Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Worst turning his hip over into the leg kick. Three minutes now to go round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Leg kick now. Oh, lands a beautiful switch kick there, champ. I mean, just like Edson Barbosa, he switches stance and drives that kick up onto the elbow. More than one, more than one. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? There's the elbow. He lands the kick to the body there. Once you get take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing you got to try to find a way to stop him. He Work. needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. One, two there by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. He missed with that jab attempt there. Smells blood in the water. Gotta start looking for the finish here. Oh, that's big. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Goes upstairs with the kick. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Oh. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, nice. Nice. Kick. Nice. oh, and there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest from that one. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Our next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, big right hand, yes. 
Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Just missed with the elbow there. Well, he might be working towards an attritic knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Big shot lands for both guys. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Trying to oh, that a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Just unable to quite find that reach. Beautiful job getting those hands up. That is a damaging kick that lands. Back kick there. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Ooh, side kick. Well timed there. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he can. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad on his head kick. Now he has to find one Oh, nice body shot. Eats a jab there. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent. But was oh, back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar time. Looking to land the leg kick now. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. All right, so a seven of blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing. <laughs> Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. One minute to go in the round. Oh, nice combination. Man, this dude's midsection is officially unrecognizable at this point in time. You do see the corners get involved, maybe more for head shots or leg strikes, but they got to be thinking about getting involved here. Ground beef, man. <laughs> Ground beef, John Anik. Look at the redness. Oh, he hurt him bad. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Oh, nice kick. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. 10 seconds to go in the round. Oh, he's got the single collar locked oh, in the punch now. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Relax. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. 
I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh, man. That cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy figures to be busy between fights. He's going to be very busy. He's going to be very busy trying to keep this guy in the fight. His cut has gotten bad. And he has got a guy in front of him that is going to continue to talk to him. Inside leg kick. He blocked that one. Another one. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. His left eye pretty swollen at this point. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh -huh. that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Please kick his blunt. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Side kick now. Oh, nice. Oh, they're trying to hoot shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Great shot from the top position. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. What a beautiful body kick. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him here. Yeah, and you can kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. When you're in there, you are there to win a fight, not just be standing at the final bell. Leg kick. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Lock that punch. Under a minute to go. Whiffs on the elbow. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. He's got to start moving his head. Cannot take this many shots. Oh, that's a simple blow right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. That leg kick hurt. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. 
And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. We're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. Be aggressive. Don't be stupid. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Lands a big elbow. Oh, hard work pays off. Lands the Superman punch flush. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Just misses there with the left. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He high, and now he's got a good back. Oh, nice combination. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Just misses with the left hook. Hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. And that's that's the danger in the engagement there. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Nice body shot. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, there's that low kick. That'll leave a mark. Shots from the top. Rips the body there. Straight punch is true. Wow, this is getting hard to watch. Right, so the ref is going to step in here and call on the doctor to look at what is a now mangled nose. This could be the end of the fight. It could be the end of the fight. There's a lot of blood. The blood's going down into the mouth. I mean, the nose could be broken. Doctor talking to the referee right now, and all right, it looks as though the fight's going to continue. Fans will appreciate that decision at least for now. They will. It's been a fun fight to this point. Let's see how he deals with this bad cut. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue. Oh, he's got to keep pressing here. Oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands flush to the head. Now drops inside that closed guard. He 
Gracie. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round and round. Ground and pound the handle Mark Coleman would be playing. And another, another strike from the top. Lands. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. Oh! Oh, he is hurting for certain. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. It's big punch lands through the middle. Lee's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Just missed with the left there. 15 seconds. Timely defense there, huge block for him. And there is the final horn. What a 25 minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. Body kick right there, landed perfect. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-44. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC.